love everything. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Today, I am so excited to be hosting brunch at Absolute Drinks. I'm gonna be having a few friends over. I'm hungry. <laughs> and I'm gonna be making some bangers. We've got the mimosa, you know her, you love her, a Bloody Mary, the meaty breakfast drink we all really enjoy. We've got a cucumber lime highball coming at you as well as a Paloma Shandy. Don't miss it. I am Elise, and this is Absolute Drinks with Elise. Thank you, perfect. <laughs> There are a few rules that I abide to strictly when I'm enjoying brunch. I have some cardinal rules and they all have to do with the liquids in front of me. The first being most important and that is something for hydration. I want a tall glass of soda water or maybe even a smoothie. Second, I need a pick me up baby. Mama needs a wake up. So I'm probably gonna go for an espresso, an Americano, maybe a ginger shot, something to just whoop, get me up, right? And last but not least, of course, the essence of brunch, a good drink. All right, we're starting off with one that's close to our heart. She's well known, she's loved. She's the mimosa. Let's get the show on the road. And today we're gonna be making a special mimosa. Not your typical, we're going a little bit more elevated. So what you're gonna need, our star of the show, absolute original. Two champagne flutes, and some fresh squeezed orange juice, and sparkling champagne, or wine, Prosecco, Cava, whatever you got. And there we have it, let's get right into it. We're gonna start with our cheapest ingredient first, that is our OJ. We're gonna go one and a half parts directly into our flute. Next, of course, absolute. And we are going in with just three quarter parts here. Yeah, I never know what to feel. I have a love-hate relationship with a mimosa. I love to drink it. I kind of hate making it for friends because it's never to their liking. I think one great thing for you to do for a mimosa is set out a bar. What's left but to enjoy? So, listen, these are wild. They're rogue. We don't know what they're up to. So it's important that you keep your guard up, your thumb down, right? So our cage is here. Five, half, French whisper. And we are going to just top her up. Mm. Our spiked mimosa. Who could want more? Max, check out this pull. Mm. <laughs> Brunch could just be this mimosa. It's that damn good. But on we go to the next. We are going to be making an absolute lime cucumber mint highball. You're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need, of course, the star of the show, absolute lime. We have some fresh squeezed lime juice. We have some soda water ice, of course. We will be shaking this drink. We have fresh mint as well as this cucumber. We've got our jiggers. We have everything I think we need. Let's get into it. Cool. So we are going to first cut up a little bit of our cucumber and our mint for our bruising because we will be building this directly into the tin. Get a good amount of cucumber slices here. Cucumber is in, right? You know how I feel about mint. If I could, I'd marry her. So we're gonna go in with a lot of mint. I've got about four sprigs pulled right off the top. Next is the lime. We're gonna go half parts lime juice. All right, so we're going in with one and a half parts star of the show, absolute lime. So I'm just gonna press in. Max, can you see what I'm gonna be doing here? I'm just really kind of like getting things started. Those cucumbers, I didn't mash them, but I just really kind of want to get everything introduced at this point. Cause I'm about to shake the sh on it, so it'll be fine. Ice comes to play. Let's go. <laughs> you guys ever mixed a drink before? Me either. Take a look. We beat the sh out of it in a good way. Can you smell this, Max? Move this camera, smell this. Ooh. Good stuff, right? But there's a lot to get stuck in your teeth here. If you're not, Rico's coming over. I'm gonna make sure everything is gap free. Let's get some ice in these babies. Strain this baby up. Yummo. She's looking fresh, looking delicious. This is everything we don't want in our teeth. And we're gonna pour it up with soda water. Can I get some more ice, guys? Anyone come in? That'll do. That's too much. Let me get my cucumber wheels on here. Top her up with soda just so I don't displace that garnish. And you know me, mama loves the mint. So in with two big bouquets. I've got a brunch to serve. So this is gonna be such a great cocktail for our brunch. It's gonna pair nicely with anything that we find on our plate. Think about all the food that comes with brunch. It's a little bit heavy, it's rich. We got gravies, we got sugars. We need a little bit of something light and bright and acid forward to cut through some of that fat to keep our stomachs ready to enjoy more with friends. So that's why I would love my, uh, hang on just a sec. AJ's calling. Yellow. Hello. Hey, you coming? Oh, oh, wait. You're almost here? Yep. Okay, I've gotta go. Four minutes? Four minutes, Uh, Tie your shoe, make it five, do something. All right, bye. bye. On to the next one. 
Bloody Mary time. Show must go on. So we're gonna need star of the show, absolute vodka, the original gangster. Tomato juice. We have some Worcestershire. Am I saying that right, Rico? Worcestershire. 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 We've got fresh squeezed lemon juice. We've got some hot sauce if you like things hot. Some celery salt, some salt, some pepper. What more could you need? We are gonna start with half parts lemon juice right into our shaking tin. Half parts Worcestershire. And this is that real savory, meaty backbone. So we got five whole parts of tomato juice. The thing I love about a Bloody Mary, it's usually one of the drinks I start with at brunch, is it kind of feels like a bite in itself, right? It's meaty, it's rich, it primes my stomach, it gets me sort of ready to take on some of those rich dishes we talked about at brunch. So I'm going in with one and a half parts, our star of the show from Southern Sweden. Boom, she's in. All that's left now is preference. If you like it hot, here's where we get hot. We're gonna go six dashes. Pep, black pepper. Grind until it's fine. Some salt as well. Celery salt. Celery is my favorite garnish for this, but celery salt gives this really rich umami, almost herbaceous, aromatic saltiness to the drink. Don't skip it, trust me. Pinch. Last but not least, I'm going to just roll this back and forth, right? Whoa, whoa. What we don't want with the Bloody Mary is over dilution. And we've made a really beautiful um, mess here that we can clean up later. How am I doing? I guess I'm the spill queen now. All that's left is to put these in the glass. One important piece about this drink, I mentioned preference. It's your drink, it's your choice. There are no rules with the Bloody Mary. The thing about the Bloody Mary, it's so universally pleasing because no one is the same. We're gonna rim this thing up. Another thing I love at brunch is an everything bagel. I love a bagel board. So we are going to kind of lean into that moment. I'm running a lime on my glass because we're gonna rim this with some everything bagel seasoning. Max, can you see this? It's gonna be poppy seeds, probably some sesame seeds. We've got some allium in here with garlic and, and onion, and of course some salt, some pep. Mm, what more could you need? All right, we're rimmed up, we're ready, baby. So I've got my little friends here, my cornichons. We're gonna throw a lime wedge on the rim, and we are going to cut down a couple of wedges. In with the ice, and the moment we've all been waiting for. She is looking thick, rich, and delicious. Wow, look at these rims, Max. Boom, let's build this baby up. Two cornichons in. I'm gonna shove this down in here like that. Can't be a, blood, a Bloody Mary without a beautiful piece of celery. Our two baby trees, our happy trees going in. All right, here we have them. The two most beautiful Bloody Marys to ever be born, right here at Absolute Drinks. I can't wait to share these with my best friends. If you wanna be best friends with us too, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you never miss a moment with myself, AJ Arrigo at Absolute Drinks. But back to the drink mixing. We've got one more delicious drink coming up to complete your brunch with friends. Paloma Shandy coming at you. You ready? Born ready. Great, let's do it. What I'm gonna want for our garnish is some grapefruit Half moons, can you do a mm -hmm, couple yeah. of cuts for me? I'm gonna build this drink right into our blender base. We're blending for a bunch. Do you know what a Paloma is? It's delicious tequila based cocktail, but we're taking that tequila, we're subbing it out, we're throwing absolute grapefruit into the mix, and we're gonna have ourselves a little brunch Paloma. We are gonna go in with our cheapest ingredient first, so we're making four cocktails, we're gonna do three parts simple syrup. So in with our grapefruit juice, we're gonna go in with eight parts grapefruit juice. This is a big build, but again, we're building for friends so the more the merrier. In we go, eight parts absolute grapefruit, the star of our show. Absolute grapefruit is going to really kind of compound the fresh grapefruit flavor that we're getting from our juice ice, of course. Two cubes per drink, we're making four drinks, so I'm gonna throw eight in. So, Max, take it in. Go on, Elise, I'm right. thirsty, I'm hungry. Skip breakfast for you, okay? Lay off me, man, I'm trying. Jesus. All right, <clears throat> Paloma Shandy, what the is a shandy? something we find with like a lemonade. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. So this is gonna kind of lose its fluff, right? We just blasted it with a bunch of air. We aerated the shit out of it. Mm. All right, she's tart. We are gonna add some bubble and fluff from a light lager. So, I see baby. What, what, what? It looks good. I'm a little shaky. Star of the show, Paloma Shandy. Mm, kiss it right on the head with a little bit of light lager here. Shake it like that. <laughs> Give a little mix. Oh boy. Can I have some? That is so good. 
Oh. It's so good. Brunch is wow. not ruined. Wait till Rico tries this. Cheers. <laughs> Skull. Skull. Rico. Oh, okay. Final company has arrived. And just in time, I'm going over my brunch big hitters. Nice, because I'm thirsty. Welcome. Good. Thank you. I hate Bloody Mary, so that's why I'm going this I side. hate mimosa, so. I love I'm everything. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. Who has a favorite? Any favorites so wait, far? Wait, wait. What was this? This is a cucumber lime highball or oh. cucumber mint highball rather. This is the brunch in the sun. All of these should feel like a ray of sunshine on your brunch morning. They're Let all gonna pair differently, compliments and contrast to some of those favorite dishes that we find at brunch, biscuits and gravy, eggs, Benny, pancakes smothered in syrup. You know, I love a drink with a snack and I love a Bloody Mary. This one was my favorite, 100%. Paloma Shande. Grapefruit, beer, mm -hmm. delicious. I'm starting early, I'm going in strong. I'm here for a short time and a good time, so. I'm hungry. <laughs> Frank was making the food. Frank, food's up. Hey guys, eggs are ready. Woo! Yeah. I can't wait to get over there, enjoy the rest of this brunch with my friends. And of course, I wanna come to brunch with you too. So please like this video, comment on it, take some pictures of what you're mixing for brunch, hashtag absolute drinks, and let us know what you wanna see from the channel next time. I gotta go, but I love you. We'll see you next time.